Hey you fantastic people, welcome back to another episode of The Insect Nerd where I talk about insects like beetles, mantises, leaf insects, um, all sorts, some other inverts. Um, I've talked about millipedes before, I've got two lovely white tree frogs, Neville and Luna, and a gecko called Barrow. So I keep a lot of range of stuff and I like to talk about different things. Um, I do mostly like insects, but I also like other animals too. So today we're just going to do a quick video um, about um, how to set up a small um, a enclosure for Atticus atlas or atlas moth larvae. Now I've raised them from cocoons and they are fantastic species. They're one of my favourite species of moth. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to raise them, and raise them from larvae. The larvae look wicked. Um, I've researched and um, it, it's just going to be, wow, it's going to be such a topic. But um, yeah, maybe I'll give you updates throughout. <laughs> but um, so basically the Atlas Atticus moths or the Atlas moths are a bit different from your typical English moth. They are not native here, by the way, as well. Um, they need more humidity. They need more temperature. So rather than starting with a small net for your larvae, you will need to start with something solid, maybe a glass vivarium like this I've chosen, um, or a plastic container. Um, make sure you put some holes in it. Um, so yeah, I mean, I would prefer, yeah, I've some holes in it. So they need some ventilation, but not a lot. Um, and that's from L1 to L2 interstar. So, um, from L1 to L2, have them in a smallish with medium, I would say this is more medium, um, tub with little ventilation, um, just to keep it a little bit humid because they will need, as young larvae, they will need to have more humidity. L3 is where they will need more space, so they need a bigger tub. Um, and then what you will need to do is you will need more ventilation to prevent fungal infections and fungal development because when the fungi uh, and the mold develops it will cause illness to your larvae and it will kill them it is a big killer in um sort of with any sort of larvae beetle larvae um coleoptera larvae lepidoptera larvae butterfly and moth larvae um so you know just make sure you keep it clean as well so i, I i'm going to clean mine every day like with my caterpillars and everything i clean them every day because they just poo so much um yeah from l3 they need more space and more ventilation so what i've done is i've put a bit of kitchen roll at the bottom don't do soil get too humid and too fungi it, fungi will develop a lot if it gets too humid um so just put a bit of kitchen roll in there don't need to get too too uh complicated with it um yeah so and then food plants i've got so I've collected these guys, these guys, <laughs> I've collected these from outside, so apple and I have got privet. They also eat cherry, willow and some people have said even plum. Now um, I'm going to put these in loose just because they, um, I don't want the larvae to, to drown in the water pots. Um, they're really small and I'm worried they can just fit into any gap. <laughs> um, even, doesn't matter how well I cover it, I'm worried they get into the gap. So as they grow, I will add the water pots. Um, and, you know, just, I want to make sure they're safe. So I'm just going to add the water pots as, 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 they're, as they grow older and bigger and won't be able to fit into any big gaps. So, as I said to start with, they require more humid temperature. Uh, so about 25 degrees to most 30 they 22 degrees they can do all right at as well um it is very hot at the moment so i'd say don't use a heat mat if you're keeping them in winter i would use a sort of maybe depending on the temperature in your your house maybe a sort of a, sort of a heat you can use a heat mat um to keep them warm um but yeah sort of they come from like places like malaysia and india and china so um you would expect it to be hu really humid, um, humid environment. <laughs> but after that, I'm just putting my food plants in there. Um, and one thing with food plants, don't forget to give them a good wash. 
because you don't want any pesticides or or pests going onto your food plants and um, really um, you know affecting your larvae or, or killing them off so I'm just gonna it's not gonna look really neat because I feel like the water pots kind of give it that neatness but you know nature's not always about you know neatness and tidiness it's actually very messy it's their you know it's their home um, it's not about you know it's not about neatness at all just as long as they have enough food um, and make sure you you know they have places to sort of crawl up so they don't like fall and injure themselves so like if they fell from the top they can fall into a bottom leaf so just go around the edge sort of and do that um, I will show you them as well um, <laughs> So they're really tiny at the moment. I would say they're stage L1 in, in star. Um, so there's loads there. So I, I've got two other pots. So I, I've got 30, I know. <laughs> Crazy girl. Um, so I have got a lid to this pot as well. Sorry about that. <laughs> Low battery came on my phone. So yeah, I better hurry up the video. Um, but yeah, I've got this lid, but I might need to adapt it because I think they might be able to get through those holes. Um, but that's sort of their only ventilation, but they need a bit of ventilation. It says a little bit of ventilation. So, you know, um, I might put a net netting over it maybe. But, um, and just put your food plant in and put them, put them in. Um, I'll put them in after the video because I won't be able to concentrate. But if you want to follow me on um, Instagram, it's at the insert nerd 97 if you want to see what's going on on my website, um, I'm doing more stuff. I want to do more moth stuff. I've done loads of butterfly stuff. So then go to www.theinsectnerd.co.uk. Um, and if you want to see what I'm doing on TikTok, I don't go on it a lot, but I just use it for fun. Then go search The Insect Nerd. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, have a great day. <laughs> Enjoy the sun while it lasts.